All right, so last time we got to the point where our character had some definite animation abilities here, you know, he is idling away. He has a run animation within him, hidden down deep inside, but he is not using it at all. He has the potential. We're gonna go click the player and we're gonna open up a script, right? Now we're loaded. Okay. We're gonna go line by line real quick as a refresher because it's been a little while since we touched code. The main idea here, so you can see inside this code right here, this whole thing is called a class, right? And this class uses the mono behavior. It inherits from it. That that is, is that's another class that Unity makes. It's what has the update inside of it. It does a lot of things. If you don't understand this, that's okay. Don't worry about it. It's really really not that important at this point you you just use it <laughs> until you know better the next thing that go that we need to think about here is the uh bridge body so we're making this right here this makes it so that we can assign it inside the game anytime that you have it as a public it lets you assign it inside the game it says rb that's because that's what we named it inside the script and you can drag it over and put it in here and you have access to it inside of here to make changes. RB.velocity is what we've been changing. Now, rigid bodies are made by Unity. It's this component right here inside of this character. And because it has all these like options inside of it and we've been messing with them, including velocity, which isn't listed on here because you don't normally mess with it in this public uh, in the inspector itself, you can do a lot of things to it. Now you can make private variables as well, but as you can see, you don't necessarily have access to it. You don't necessarily have access to it right here. See, there's no, there's no rigid body. You don't have access. Now what's the, what's the difference? You know, what's the difference between private and public? Well, the private variable only allows for this class, this player controller, only within here can we mess with it, can we change anything, right? If we are outside of here, we can't actually toy with it, we can't make any differences, we can't use uh, this rigid body at all. But we can use this one from outside of here. A good example of this is actually this X variable right here. It allows for uh, you to have access to it from outside of the uh, outside of that class. So like even though I have this thing right here, this rigid body right here, I have access to velocity and I can make changes to it because it's public inside of the rigid body class. If that makes sense to you. If you make it private, I wouldn't be able to touch it. I, I can't touch anything that's... Okay, that was a mistake. <laughs> but I you can't just touch anything that's private. It doesn't let you from outside of it. All right, so if I had this as private, this was set as private, I wouldn't be able to set the velocity like this. So anyway, don't need that. Going down below here, we go into private void update. Now this update function is called every time uh, Unity updates a frame. Games are ran, ran by frames per second, meaning that they update the picture on your screen a certain number of times per second to the normal number is somewhere around 60, but it can go way higher, like 120, sometimes in the thousands, depending on the game. But most of the time it runs at about 60 frames per second, depending on the game. And you can, um, and every time it updates that frame, every time it updates the picture on the screen, it runs this update function and a couple other update functions as well. Over here, we're seeing if and anything within this parentheses, you'll see it highlights the other parentheses to show you what, everything that's inside of there. If whatever is within this parentheses is true, then it does whatever is inside this brackets. See? So the if whatever is inside this parentheses is true, then it'll run this thing in here, these brackets. All right? And we use the input class from, uh, from Unity. We hit the get key and we use a key code Dot a. Now we're going to walk through this step by step. So if within this parentheses is true, then we're going to check if this input dot get key, if basically every time the, they update a frame, the input class says, okay, is this key, key code A being pressed? Is it down? Is it, is it working right now? Is it being accessed? If the key A is getting pressed at that time, then this is this becomes true if it's not then it's automatically false because this this that's what this will return it'll return either either true or false because you uh, you can see on the screen right here it's a boolean 
the get key function is a boolean, meaning that it returns either true or false. Okay. So if get key is true, if that A key is being pressed, then we will do these changes. We'll move to the right with the with the velocity. We'll set it to the well, actually sorry the left. And this negative five right here is what represents that. And we stay the same on the y-axis, meaning we don't move up or down. We only move to the left, this negative five. And we do that by setting the velocity in this public of, of this public vector two velocity right here. And we also change our scaling so that we are facing to the left as well. We do this by sending this number right here to negative one, and we keep this the same at one, meaning that we stay the same size vertically. Okay? And then we do the same thing for D, the key D key, and we make a, our character jump with the space key. Now, I'm explaining all this again just to give you a quick rundown and just to like, you know, sometimes things just don't click the first time, even if you do it. So I just wanna like try to see if we can make it click, if we can just talk about it real fast. I'm making this an entire separate video uh, from the animations and running the animations within the screen because I, I just wanted to like give a quick rundown for people that might need that help inside of here, might need to see this. Sometimes you got to have it explained and every time I explain I do it just a tiny bit different so that uh, maybe it'll click in one way and not the others because I know it can be overwhelming jumping in code for the first time. Anyway, that's it for this, I don't even know what to call it, like a maintenance video, <laughs> like uh, just running. I'm going to jump right into the animations in the next video right after this. So thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye.